Hey guys, and welcome back to Medieval. When we last left off, we visited the Enchanted uh, Earth, except we didn't do the mission proper. We actually did the uh, Ant Caves, which netted us an interesting item that I'm hopefully going to demonstrate in this mission. Now, we've heard the rumblings about these shadow demons. Let's go introduce ourselves, shall we? The Enchanted Earth. Shadow demons were locked away in the shady forest by a great hero long ago. Not the worst place to be sealed away for eternity. Whatever you do, don't lick the toads. Yep, probably good advice. Uh, I certainly wouldn't advise licking anything in this woods. Certainly not the toads or the witches for that matter. Now that's a lock, Dan. And here we are once again in this majestic place. But we've already seen this beginning bit. Let's go to work. Now also, uh, I have been doing a little bit of experimentation. And this axe is really powerful. <laughs> it's actually the second most powerful uh, melee weapon in the game. And considering it has unlimited ammo... Although rather limited range. That's pretty badass. The only problem with it is uh, its melee damage isn't too bad. It's definitely on the higher end of the scale. But it's uh, a very narrow attack pattern. So yeah, it's a cool weapon. But it's not, uh, it's not as useless as I originally thought, should we say. Let's, let's just leave it at that. Um, the spear also has been quite enhanced for the uh, PlayStation 4. It's definitely better. Like I said, it fires in a more predictable um, trajectory this time around. And, yeah, that's, that's the limit of the range there, I think. It's not great, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, so the spear actually does, if you charge it up, 200 points of damage. Which is... Fairly significant. Now, what have we got going on here? Looks like we need an artifact to get in here. Otherwise, we're just going to get lasered to death, which is not fun. Uh, interesting thing to note here. On the original game, this really drained your health. Like, ridiculously. Whereas here, it hurts you, but it's not that bad. It's not like the original game. Uh, this weapon also does more damage if you throw it than if you swing it, which is curious. Right, okay, cool. Now we've covered all that kind of stuff. We can't go down here yet, but we can clean out these damn troublesome toads. A little bit low on the old life bottle there, but that's fine. This level actually has so much health in it, it's kind of crazy. But uh, we definitely, definitely are going to need it, because this mission has some... Um, some challenges, should we say. Anyway, let's do some light reading, shall we? Or at least let's let the narrator fill us in. Keep out. This gate leads to the tomb of the shadow demons. Um, okay. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure we're going to go in there regardless. Now, do we have any more beasties? Oh, we have a toad up there. Come on, toady. Can I turn you into a chicken? No. What about if I throw it up there? Really? Can we not turn these guys into chickens? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Pretty sure we can. Uh, there's one down there. Let's see if we can turn him into a chicken. Um, I think we turn one into a chicken. Doesn't appear to be working that well. Hmm. Okay. I definitely thought that worked a little bit better. Maybe we'll need another level to demonstrate that one. But um, we've definitely lost more health than we'll ever gain from using that. Which is a little bit annoying. Uh, there's also another way, a better way, of getting your health back. Getting your health back? 
getting your um, chicken drumsticks back. If you go back to the hilltop mausoleum level, you can get the imps to steal your chicken drumstick by having it equipped when you attack them. And when you buy it back from the merchant, you'll always have full ammo for it, which is an interesting little tip, actually. I found that out earlier. So that way you don't have to do the ant caves all over again. Anyway, let's take this sky lift. Hmm, interesting. Nice view up here, don't you think, Dan? Pretty spiffy. We have our new shield out as well, which is nice. Okay. Definitely, oh god, definitely breezy up here. Can we throw chickens at these guys? Hmm. Really? Man. Okay, yeah, we're just wasting all of those at this point. Very disappointed with that. Oh well. It is what it is. Maybe you can't turn these guys uh, into chickens. Woof. Interesting death pose there, buddy. Alright, well, let's keep going to the top, Dan. I'm sure we might find something relatively interesting up here. Okay. Lovely. And one more. There we go. Ooh, that doesn't sound pleasant. Ah, okay. So it looks like we have a massive bird trying to crack our skull. That's not great. Uh, at least we've got some gold. How's there gold in this bird's eggs? And a copper shield as well. Um, okay, I don't really know a lot about genetics. And an earth rune. Yeah, I don't know a lot about genetics, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. But then... We are talking about the mythical birds of Gallomir here, so who knows. Ah, there's a couple of life wells over there and lots of life vials. Interesting that we can actually see that from over here. I don't think you could on the original PlayStation version. Let's have a little gander at our book anyway, because I think we're a little bit out of date with this thing. Yeah, just a little bit. Well, that's okay. You guys can listen to this whilst I drink coffee. That's a good deal. In his heyday, this once beloved mayor stole the shadow artifact from Zeroth's tower after the disgraced sorcerer was banished from the kingdom. And Zeroth returned, so mad was he that he tore the whole town apart in his wrath, turning many of the good townsfolk into goats. After that, the mayor's approval ratings fell dramatically. His re-election now seems unlikely, although these days it seems anything is possible. To goats, you say? Damn. Let's have a little look at the uh, forest witch here. Once part of the infamous Cemetery Hill Coven, Imelda was ostracized by her sisters when she refused to stop using the communal cauldron to prepare her notoriously pungent lunchtime brews. She now resides in the enchanted earth where no one complains. Or at least if they do, she just turns them into a toad. And seriously, do not lick those toads. So you mean to tell me that all of these toads um, are unfortunate travellers that complain about the stench? Um, wow, that's, uh, that's pretty fucking savage. I approve. A proud and fair race, the fairies were rulers of the underground world until that fateful day when the Ant Queen invaded their turf. Honestly, we don't know why the ants have them in prison, but for some reason, fairy magic doesn't seem to work against ants. Seems odd to me, but hey, I don't make the rules. Interesting. Well, we uh, certainly helped those guys out. We're also quite far through the friendlies list here. I'm going to guess we have quite a few enemies to read up on. Okay, not as many as I thought. With the disappearance of the head monk, these patients have been left to run amok. We don't know exactly what it was that sent them raving mad. Perhaps it was magic. Perhaps the moon. Perhaps they were all licking toads. Truly, we should not lick those toads. Is this really what the ancient dragons evolved into? Their dreadful ancestors would be ashamed. Don't lick their backs. That's a good way to end up in the loony bin. No, really, 
Just don't. Poisonous pollen protects these plants from predators. Just to be safe, they fire it at everything. Can never be too careful, these days. Fascinating creatures, Anne. Did you know they're as old as the dinosaurs? That they talk using chemicals? Or that they share a hive mind? And contrary to popular belief, they actually have no interest whatsoever in your pants. My life is a lie. Okay, ooh, we have some bosses. We're really behind on our bosses, aren't we? The Pumpkin King. Okay. A terrifying reminder of the perils of competitive vegetable growing. This sinister squash has become a terrible influence on his once peaceful pumpkin. Xerox magic has created the ultimate superfood. This is one ghoulish gourd that's simply busting for a dustbin. Can I just say the writing in this game is far better than you'd think it would be? <laughs> it really is quite enjoyable. She's not just a set of legs. There's a whole devoted mother bird up there. And no one treasures her eggs more than this bird mama. They may someday hatch into beautiful baby birds, or maybe just into beautiful bags of gold, or bags of golden babies. <laughs> Who knows? Yes. Yes, quite a, an odd creature, to say the least. Although accustomed to letting her soldiers do all the fighting, this is one tough bug. She actually is. She's an acid-spitting queen who will fight to her last gasp to defend the brood of insect infants incubating inside her egg sac. Oh, if only there was an airlock you could flush her out. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, I like it. Yes, yes. Nuke him from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Oh, there you go. You can actually see the proper range of this thing there. Fairly respectable, actually. Right, well, we have raided the dragon bird's eggs. Ooh, shit. Almost, Dan. Almost. There's almost a pile of dusty, crumbly bones at the bottom of this elevator. Okay, that'll do. Let's get out of here. So, we have a rune. Oh, hey, sir. Have some axe to your face. And I'm going to take some gold. Because we want gold. Ah, we also wouldn't say no to the top up of the old, uh, the old health juice. There we go. Might as well use this thing up. Oh, well, I mean, I suppose a piss dribble of health is a bit better than nothing. Um, now, let's go back down here. The cauldron, we've already seen the witch. She's cool. We're all cool. We're all friends here. Uh, I guess we can't open that yet. Where was the... Where was it? Somewhere, there's somewhere we could use a rune. That makes sense. Somewhere, there was somewhere we could use a rune. Ah, here we go. Right. Ah, what have we got here then? What are we getting ourselves into? Yep. We've got more dragon toads, so that's a thing that we certainly have. And we have more of these poisonous plants as well. But some liberal swings of the axe soon puts them down. All right there, buddy. Is that right? The shadow demons are in tomb. Uh-huh. Separated from the world of goodness and light until the earth cracks. I see. No one, not even the dark lord Zarek, can release them without the shadow artifacts. Oh, you mean... Leave now or share their doom. You mean the uh, thing that I have in my uh, iron britches here. Uh, right. What do you think of that? Huh? Huh? That's right. Dan comes equipped. Now, what do we have here? Sir Dan, you must take the Shadow Demon Talisman. It is an unholy relic, but it may allow you to progress through Shadow Demon territory. And that's a good thing? Okay. Now, the solution to this puzzle eluded me for quite a while, but it's uh, not too hard. You want fire. 
And then I believe you want Earth. Uh, I think it's, I think we did it wrong. Yeah, we did it wrong. So it's fire, earth, air, and water. Yes. I hope that's good. It is not good. It is not good. They're um, they're the shadow demons. Ah. Uh, yeah, there's one or two of them. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I lost count. There's a couple of them there. Oh, Dan. I guess we're kind of feeling a little bit like Luigi now when he uh, unwittedly released all of the booze. Oh, boy. So, anyway, that's that. Is there any other goodies in here? There's the chalice. Which, notice how we haven't uh, managed to collect any souls for our chalice just yet. That's because of everything we've slayed so far, there has been no souls. Well, maybe, just maybe, we have just released a new enemy that has a soul. Yes. Anyway, Dan, onwards. Oh, boy. You right there, buddy? What have you done? Once again, the shadow demons are wreaking havoc across the land, and it's all thanks to you. Hey, look, we got a plan. single most destructive and wretched creatures in the history of the world, and you've given them an early parole. Yeah, look. It's beginning for the ruins of King Peregrine's castle. Hey, look, enough of this doom and gloom. You're talking to Sir Daniel Fortescue. And we can't go through there. We need to start room. Sir Daniel Fortescue. Uh, yeah. We, oh, God. Hello, Shadow Demon. Now, these guys are really strong. And when I say they're really strong, I mean they're really, really strong. They are pretty bloody lethal. Anyway, let's have a little look. Enemies, shadow demons. Some of the most evil, murderous creatures ever to blight the land. Oof. Thankfully, they were locked away in a hermetically sealed vault by a great hero hundreds of years ago. Don't worry, we're safe. Only a complete fool would ever set them free. Oh, please tell me. Hey, look, I can explain. All right, it's all part of the master plan. Just give us, give us, give us a chance to show us, to show you just what we can do. I mean, look, they're not that hard. They're falling like wheat before the scythe. Admittedly, very strong, reinforced, tough wheat that claws your face as you try to cut it. But wheat, nonetheless. There we go. Come on, buddy. Yeah, let's get you into a corner. The trouble is, when you start doing damage to them, they will teleport away. If only we had some kind of magical sword that did a great deal more damage. Uh-oh. Okay. This is going to hurt. This is definitely going to hurt. Come on, buddy. That's it. Fill my chalice full of souls. 75%. Not bad. Let's go see if we can find some more. Hello. Can I put you to death, please? I hope your soul is going back. Oh, uh, what kid do I suppose all the time we're fighting these guys? Uh, yeah, we'll spare some coin and we'll enchant our sword. Just to give us a little bit of an edge. Get it? Sword? Edge? <laughs> I know, I know. Right, uh... Let's grab this gold. There we go. Oh, that's doing more damage. That's doing a lot more damage. There we go. Chalice can now be collected. Wonderful. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, not bad. Any more shadow demons? Uh, there's no more there. Which is good. Is there any shadow demons around here? No. Okay, I think we've got the shadow demons. That's good pretty useful uh, let's grab that let's go get our chalice because we don't want to oh shit 
We don't want to be uh, leaving here without our chalice. Ah, oh, shit. I don't want to eat that. Really don't want to eat that. Uh, there we go. Let's use this. It's cheap. And it certainly has enough power to eventually overpower these uh, these giant plants of poisonous virtue. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, I hate the platforming. Wow, that's... Hate's a bit of a strong word, but it it's all right when it works. And it does work most of the time. I'm going to say most of the time. Because there are plenty of times where it doesn't. Alright, let's... Oh yeah, we still don't have the rune. Hmm, if I was a rune, where would I be? Ah, guarded by two demon sisters, no less. Nah. Right. So now we have the shadow talisman. We can turn these statues off. Not bad, Dan. Not bad. Onwards, Sir Fortescue. Ah, oh, looks like we have... Oh. Uh-oh. Ah, really? Me and my big mouth. Two demon sisters. Well, how hard could that be? Next you'll be telling me we we'll fight with them on a platform that tries to tip you off. <laughs> Don't be silly. Oh, right. Yes. Platform that tries to tip you off. Got ya. Let's go for the spears, shall we? And we're going to charge these spears up. Now, one thing I will say. This uh, boss, oh god, is significantly easier than on the PlayStation 1. And when I say significantly easier, I mean it. It really is crazy. And I've turned the UI off there accidentally. Oh, oh shit, I can't believe I actually fell off that. Trust me when I say it's actually really hard to fall off this thing. Unless you're a moron. Let's play as Curse. Oh god. Yep, ow, ow. Can I stop turning the UI off, please? That would be fantastic. Yeah, these spears are pretty good here. Because they do so much damage. 200 damage when they're charged up. So, as you can see, when the platform changes uh, and tries to like spin you off, it does it way smoother and less violent than it does on the PlayStation uh, 1. And I'm pretty sure those the bosses are just easier as well. But luckily, our reward here is two health fountains, which, let's be fair, we kind of really needed. Excellent. Not bad, Dan, not bad. But not only do we have two health fountains, there's also two health vials over there as well. They really do expect you to take a bit of a beating here. Now, you can also notice, uh, I don't know if anybody did notice, but I went back through the hilltop mausoleum, no, the cemetery, and I squished nine um, undead hands. So our money is actually even now. Because that was kind of annoying me. Way more than I think it should have. Alright, Dan. Not bad. Let's get out of here. I think that's enough of a walk in the forest for today. We have... Oh, hello. Didn't see this book. Can the game not glitch out, please? And can we read the book? Thank you. Like a giant magpie, the dragon bird sits upon its hoard of stolen treasures. High above the trees, you will find a nest... Oh, those eggs are worth their weight in gold. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are, but they're now smashed, and the gold is lining my pocket, so sucks to be them, I guess. Right. Now, also, we should have got some more entries in our book. Yeah, that'd be a boss, won't it? Demonettes. Everything is a competition for these demon sisters. We're not disemboweling intruders. Mm. They enjoy a good game of chess. Mm. You'll never know who is better. One of them always flips the table. Yes, well, we just speared them, I guess you could say. <laughs> Dan just checkmated them. 
Right, let's get out. Oh god, hang on, we're going the wrong way. Now that was kind of expensive to use all of those spears, but they're really powerful against demonic things. Let's go, Dan. Let's go. The Hall of Heroes awaits. All the mightiest heroes are celebrated here. Well, except one. And I would wager Dan will become the mightiest hero Gallimere has ever, ever had. Right, we are 12 down. 12 down. I think we might be able to get the magical sword. No, that's the next chalice. God damn it. Oh, what are you going to give me, buddy? 10,000 courses for this game. I bet money you be back pushing old daisies by the Ha. Hey, I have something here for you. You like it very much? You want? Go on. Money. Money. You gave me gold. <sighs> Stick your gold up your ass. Could have given me at least a life bottle. A life bottle I would have accepted. <sighs> Bloody gold. Really? Could have at least given me a whole massive stack of gold. Like thousands. But a few hundred pennies. Uh, I mean a handful of pennies I should say. It's like 150 gold he gave us which is literally nothing. It won't even replace our spears. Do we want to enchant that? Nah. Uh, I guess we could fill that back up. Uh, we'll get another pack of spears and that's all of the money he gave us gone. Bastard. Cheapskate son of a bitch. Anyway. That is that, guys. That is the Enchanted Forest done. And the Ant Caves, technically. All one level. Now we get to move on to... Do, 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 do. Yes. Possibly... One of my favourite levels, actually. Pools of the Ancient Dead. I really like this level. Definitely one of my favourites. A bit of a long level as well, but... It's it's an interesting one because it covers uh, the old battleground of one of the fierce battles and uh, there's lots of undead soldiers walking around and it's just got a really cool atmosphere and it's got a cool character in there as well. So anyway, we shall certainly cover that in the next episode. So guys, thank you very much for watching and as always, till next time.